love to see a new and improved archetype system. In real life, a lot of your favorite superstars had at least two archetype abilities. I'm gonna give you guys some examples. Hakeem Olajuwon, he was a post scorer and a paint protector. Scottie Pippen was a slasher and a lockdown defender. James Harden, playmaker, sharpshooter. Heck, even Steph Curry's a sharpshooter and a playmaker. I think you guys have my point. I just want to see a more in-depth archetype system. Yeah, you know who it is. You know who it is. If you don't, it's your boy Shane. So what up 2K fans, shout out to the Naughty Gang, peace to my Shake Squad, we ready to dive into my personal top 5 best duo hybrid archetypes for NBA 2K18. I'm doing my top 5 hybrid duo arcs based on how I like to play 2K and where I'm most effective. Keep in mind, we're not talking about pure players, you know like your pure sharpshooters. I do not play center. That is not the role that I typically like to play. I like to play for more of a leadership role or position. The centers are great in this year's game. If you want to see that information, I'm probably going to dive into it later. You got the driving and finishing, defending big man. Post score stretch might be a problem too. I might make this a new series that I do once a month, highlighting the new waves of arc builds. There's 180 plus arc combinations, and you know NBA 2K18 is going to evolve throughout the year. Some will be more suitable for different modes, so if I'm wrong about any of this information during the time that I'm making this video, definitely correct me in the comments and hopefully I already did or I'm definitely going to do an update you know, as we progress with these archetypes. And when people figure out that cheese, new arcs will develop to counter and compete with them. So to kick off my top five archetypes, at number one, we've got the shot creating, passing and ball handling hybrid. This is your shot creator, playmaker, Uncle Drew Kyrie Irving build. You guys remember the ankle bully in 2K17? breaking ankles and missing shots. Hopefully that's a thing in the past with this build. You get three Hall of Fame badges, ankle breaker, tireless score, and difficult shots. This guy is a mixtape monster and he could potentially carry a team offensively in the Pro-Am. He's got great speed and acceleration. Listen, I played with the sharpshooting playmaker at the Run the Neighborhood event. I already told you, I went on an 8-0 streak on the 1v1s. He was extremely hard to guard off the dribble, but after analyzing it, the sharp play maker won't get that hall of fame ankle breaker badge so more than likely i'm going with a six three point guard with short arms on this one next up at number two we got that shot creating three point shooting archetype build this is your shot creator sharp mid-range three point shooting carmelo anthony style player listen the six eight sharp in the pro-am was deadly last year he can rebound play defense clog the passing lanes and most importantly, rain threes on your head. I'm thinking a six, seven point guard that can play three positions coupled with a powerful mid-range game. He might be that new wave. At number three, we got that driving and finishing three point shooting small forward build. This is your slasher sharp balanced my player from NBA 2K16. Perfect inside and outside blend, can attack the basket and shoot the three. I know he gets no Hall of Fame badges, but he gets 25 badges in all, which makes him probably Probably the most well-rounded, balanced player in 2K18. A couple secrets. Catching fire in 2K18 was extremely easy at the Run the Neighborhood event. So try to imagine this build on fire with boost. He could easily be OP. I say go with a 6'8 small forward to get your LeBron on. At number four, we got the passing and ball handling, driving and finishing point guard, shooting guard build. This is your playmaker slasher, prime D Rose slash Russell Westbrook type. I call this the king of the park, mixtape madness, my player. You get the ankle breaker hall of fame with the point guard or the shooting guard, which means you could break ankles and get posters. He got max speed and acceleration, nearly max ball handling, which means this guy's gonna be speed boosting. I'd say you could be slick and go with a 6'8 shooting guard to get that point forward type build. Don't make a mistake and make this build with the small forward because he will not get that Hall of Fame ankle breaker badge. And at number five, we got that defending slash driving and finishing archetype. Man, this is your defender slasher Greek freak build. You got high layups and dunks, nearly max strength steals 
those lateral quickness and blocks and you get maxed vertical speed acceleration and stamina this guy's gonna rip you on defense and be on the fast break he's gonna block shots catch lobs and get posters because he's got that posterizer badge on gold i'm thinking i might go with a six seven point guard for the speed so listen guys this was all based on my research none of us had extensive time with nba 2k18 especially at the event i think they spent more time entertaining us and giving us gifts than letting us actually play the game and i should know this was my seventh time at a 2k event i'm extremely grateful for going but i do wish i had more time with the game i think at most i had about an hour and a half maybe two hours with it everyone's gonna have their own opinions based on how they like to play and every archetype is gonna have weaknesses i like to believe that where my player is weak in time i'll have the 2k skills to make up for it between now and friday i'll be narrowing it down to which builds i'll be making for the ps4 and the xbox one and more than likely i'll film the prelude twice for both consoles for two different archetypes so listen guys these are my top five this is based on my opinion hope you guys do your research if this works out for you if you're still on the fence not sure what you're gonna build use this video for future reference as always naughty gang stand up smack that like button subscribe if you're new to my channel and i promise to be back with some more information more archetypes more discussions for you guys later peace, peace.